so Wednesday is Dortmund Chelsea, yeah. of course, in the Champions League. Dortmund, who we will mention a bit later. In good form. 6 in 6 uh, since the restart. Pretty incredible what they're doing at the moment. Something that we mentioned a little bit before with Gab and went a little bit unnoticed, I think, and I wanted your opinion was because I know you like what Badiashil has done so far for Chelsea, is that yeah. he obviously was not registered in the Champions League squads. Mm. So you've been playing with Thiago Silva and Badiashil as your pair of centre backs for yeah. the last four games, yeah, maybe yeah, five yeah. games. And then on Wednesday, you need someone else to play alongside Thiago yeah. Silva, right? Whether it's Shaloba, yeah. whether it's Kulibali, whether it's. I don't, know, for, I don't think for Fana is ready, but yeah, fa- someone else has to. So play that again. looks on the face of it. Strange. How weird is that? That's weird, isn't it? So you're going to have you're going to have a partnership in the Premier League, but break them up yeah. in the Champions League. Exactly. That feels weird so for someone who hasn't played for four games now in the league. Clearly, because yeah. it was Bajashil playing for the last yeah. four games. I, I mean, just, I, 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 and I know you had a choice to make because you had seven, and you only could pick three from the seven. Yeah, but if Bajashil wasn't in Chelsea's eleven. And he was a young boy trying to make yeah. his way into the squads. You could understand it. The fact yeah, that his completely. form has actually been really, really good, I think. Yeah, me I too. I think it's been amazing. Me too. That, that the only thing I can think of trying to think of trying to get into Graham Potter's head, maybe he doesn't envisage him playing every single Premier League game and Champions League game. So he wants to rotate it a little bit, but still not to have him in the squad is strange. Because what no. if you get injuries? Yeah, but again, the guy who's going to come in, whoever is the guy coming in against Dortmund to face a team that is. At the moment, see, scoring and creating a lot of chances and scoring a lot of goals. See, in a weird way, if it was Thiago... This doesn't really make any sense what I'm saying, but try and try and bear with me. In a weird way, if it was Thiago Silva that didn't make the Champions League squads, you could understand yeah. that at 39. Yeah. Obviously, you want him playing because it's Champions League. He's, and he's your best defender. Exactly. But still, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, no, yeah, the other yeah, way around seems sense. a little bit weird. I know. Or, or but again, you play Koulibaly a little bit more maybe in the league that you've done. Like, for example, this game, yeah. three days before the Champions League is yeah. back... Start your starting centre back pair for the Champions League in the league. Yeah. So you give them ninety minutes. Listen, is he overthinking it on Wednesday? Is he overthinking it? I don't Grand know. Potter? Maybe he had to pick. He had to pick Joel Felix, Enzo, and Mudrik as the three, and hadn't just didn't Man. have the choice. <laughs> just nobody ran out of numbers. Yeah, and nobody <laughs> gave him the choice. You know, and he said, "Okay, this has to be the three. And it is Mudrik for the pace, I guess. Him or Madweke for the yeah. pace, clearly. Enzo. He's already so instrumental. So Madueke has made the no, no, he has not made the no. cut neither. So if you don't have Mudrik or Madueke, you you lose the pace that you you, you paid for in the January yeah. because you needed it. Fair enough, um, but I, I don't know. I'm I just I, I'm just looking forward to seeing what team he puts out against yeah. Dortmund and how they play because it's a huge game. It's massive. If they get battered against Dortmund, yeah, which is obviously I don't think possible. they'll get battered. I'd, I'd no, but you know, like if, if things go bad, I yeah, don't know if you get a red card, like something. Yeah. 2 0 or something. Yeah. yeah. What's, like, what's Graham Potter like? Yesterday mm-hmm. I heard him saying, like, oh, we have to be, or oh, Saturday we have to be humble against Dortmund. Why do you have Why? to be humble? Why? Go humble be, for what? Go and be ruthless. I know. What's you, the humility? What, what, how is he going to use you to yeah. play against a team on fire at the yeah. moment? No, be, be, I don't know, or find another word. Yeah. You know, you don't have to I mean, be arrogant I, going I, to Dortmund. I think one of the greatest press conferences that I think I ever heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure it was Jose when he was at Chelsea and he named his Chelsea team and he named the Barcelona team yeah, yeah, the day Barcelona. before a game. Yeah, yeah. And it was just like, this is our team. I know your team. Let's get it on. I know. And it's like, that's what the players want to hear, man. They want to hear your manager going like, yeah, we're going to turn Dortmund over. We're... You wouldn't say we're too no, no, good no, for but them. Yeah, but yeah, I see there's, what you there's, mean. Way, there's ways you can say it, but, but don't, be, won, don't be on the back foot. You've won two games in 13. If you were 13 wins in 13, yeah. and maybe there was a risk that you could go to Dortmund and the Yellow Wall and 80,000 fans against you in the Champions League, and you think, okay, I don't want my boys to be arrogant or yeah. complacent because we aren't such good. You've won two in 13. <laughs> Wait, more about you need to be humble. You've been humbled by your own, re- own results already. Like, know. What's the point of being humble for? Not in the Champions League. You've and got to be ruthless. this is my issue now. With Graham Potter, I think he's a lovely guy and I think he's a great coach, there's no doubt. And I hope he does well at Chelsea Same. and he ends up Same. But right now, he says the wrong things all the time. All the time. See, even, I don't know, he, I, see, even a little bit, even a little bit after the penalty scenario when Thomas Sojek handled the ball, go in there all guns blazing. He was know, a little bit shot. like, we were unlucky. I would have for the ref. destroyed the fourth. I don't know who the fourth <laughs> were. For but I mean, I, I, know I think everybody else would have. I know it's not his style and it's not his character. So you're asking a man yeah. to change his ways. But I just think for the for the Chelsea fan, they they've left the stadium yeah. fuming. I know. You know, everyone watching around the world are fuming, and then your manager's just a little bit humble and quiet. And it's like, no nah, man, like go in there. I know. And he's he's under so much pressure. I don't understand. 
some of the lines that he comes out with. I don't understand. I think there's, I think there's the going to have to be a point, does. Jules. There's going to have to be a point where I think he's got to change his ways a little bit in terms of his personality, because you can have two wins in thirteen when you're the Brighton manager. Yeah. You know, you can do that. There's no expectation. You, yeah, yeah. It, at times, he's overachieved at Brighton. When you get a job like Chelsea, I was chatting to Gianfranco Zola yesterday. When you get a job like the Chelsea job, the performances, yes, have to be there. But it's not the be all and end all of performances. It's the mm, wins. I know. As a Chelsea manager, you have to win. I know. And when Todd Bowley's pitching up in the stands, texting or on his phone, spending 600 million, he's going to demand wins. And even though we all say Graham Potter's been, he'll be given time, which I hope that's the way, yeah. you know. If you're then two wins in 17-18 as a Chelsea manager, you ain't going to last. I know. It's, it's, it's just, just a fact. It doesn't matter if it's Chelsea. Frank Lampard got sacked at Everton for one win in 14. Yeah, it's yeah. the numbers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You've got to win. Yeah. And you, yeah. can't be, you can't be, I don't know, 10, 11, 12, 13 points off the top four. As a Chelsea manager, you've got to fight for the title. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.